All right, today I have a new accessory uh, to show you guys if anybody's interested. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but you can see here we've got ourselves a little black box. Giggity. Let's see what's inside that box. So you got yourself some 3M tape, uh, a nice little roll of that. You've got yourself one of these cheap little Allen wrenches with a screwdriver end or a, a Torx end, sorry. And you can see here we've got the actual product itself. This is a door handle for the rear doors. This would go on the driver's side. It's got the little grippy uh, bumps on the inside. It's got a little bit of the tape. And then it's got a slot for one uh, hole. Uh, one hole for one screw. So as you know, this is what the car looks like right now. The car's pretty dirty. It's... Uh, <clears throat> been having some hot weather here, a lot of pollen, a uh, good amount of rain. See, so don't uh, don't flame me too much for the car being dirty. But generally, my kids will hit this button and then rub their grubby little hands right here and open this up because there's no handle on the back door like there is on the front door. But if you come around the side here, looking from the inside, you can see there's one Torx head screw right there. So let's go ahead and get this on. Once you take that screw out of the bottom here, you can see the body molding is now loose. And you simply remove the 3M tape add more if you need to slide that right on you can see it goes around sits flush and the hole if i can get a good view here for you you can see that hole lines up perfectly what i would do is i would keep the door open up continue to apply pressure if you're not planning to leave anytime soon, maybe put a piece of masking tape over this to hold it down just so you get good adhesion. Uh, I don't have the, uh, the tape off, but uh, as you can see, when it closes, it'll sit flush right there. And as it opens up, you've got the handle right there to pull outward. Uh, you may want to put a little extra um, of the tape in here. Or like I said, make sure you get good adhesion. But it's a very simple install. Looks pretty OEM. Matches the, the front one. Doesn't mess with the body lines too much, in my opinion. Um, but if you want to stop getting kind of finger grease uh, here or potentially getting some scratches in this area from there being a lot of hands, uh, this is a good op uh, option for for the door.